Hey everybody, Carpe Zeus with you. Welcome. It is time to do uh, 2020 Heritage uh, Baseball Full Case Numero Uno. So uh, swing on over in this direction. No, I. It is. It is my goal to get through three cases of it tonight, Chuck. I want to get through three cases tonight. And then finish out. I mean, if I can't, I mean, if I can do all five tonight, then I'll absolutely do that. But uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot, shoot for three tonight, and then two for tomorrow. I mean, a little bit is going to kind of be determined on how quickly I can get get through a case of this. That's going to be uh, one, one, of, one of my bigger issues. Because this is going to be a uh, room, room murderer. is going to be the best for my uh, pack stack challenge, but I'm going to try it anyway. Ooh, a super baseball. I will obviously take out any inserts that, or any variations that I see immediately, but uh, rest assured that uh, I will be going through all cards after the fact. At the very least, they did me the huge solid of uh, putting it on the uh, backs this year. You don't have to go through the uh, serial numbers, or like not even serial numbers, but yeah, it's kind of like a serial number. You don't have to go through all of those to uh, find the variations. It says on the on the back easily, so none none shall be missed. Uh, probably Jordan. I mean, that's that's traditionally. Uh, Traditionally, how I do it. So I mean, so if you gotta go, uh, you know, get get the oil changed on your car or something. Uh, you know, go ahead and go ahead and do it now. All right, I'm gonna save these for a little bit later. Oh, pack by pack would, would be God forsaken. I mean, it's already like it's not, they're not the easiest cards to get out, but my God, there's a lot of them. These are not going to be pack challenge, pack challenge cards. Oh, yeah, Chuck. I mean, 
If I was not trying to get through three to four cases of this stuff tonight, I would consider it. But, uh, well, no, I mean, back in the day, back in the day when I was like not busy and had nothing better to do, I would go through, I would go through it, uh, back and back and forth, just, uh, like on personal boxes, but as as now I am like a near professional breaking organization, and actually trying to move through stuff, I, you know, changes things a, a, a skosh. I mean, again, it's not. It's I don't know. I mean, it's not so bad this year. Because in general, like, if it's like an action variation, it'll say like action right there. If it's like a uh, throwback or something, it'll say throwback right there. So it's, you know, it's definitely easier to see instead of having to, how in past years, like you would have to look at that little number, which I can't even focus in on, it's so small, to uh, look for the you know, look for the number variant if you didn't recognize it uh, outright. Yeah, the French ones, I mean, that's, you know, that's an easy one. And, I mean, in past years they had, like, you know, like some of them had, like, gumball stains and stuff like that, but, it, I mean, but it just, I'm going to send a, a, a thank you note and probably a fruit basket. To uh, tops for putting the uh, actual, you know, variation like marking it on the back of the card instead of it just being. Having having to look at that number or recognize it. But since, like sometimes like the error ones like you know near impossible to even to even see and figure out like, I mean, without looking at that. So, I, mean, I mean like the action ones like usually pretty easy to pick out. I don't know, did they do like a color swap this year? I don't think they did. should do them as uh, as like jumbo jumbo packs but you can put like 30 36 cards and you know in a pack kind of deal Yeah, I know there's like a silver team name this year. At least is it Heritage or was it is it Archives that uh, it usually has like three different ones in it. Th that might be Archives.
And it's not even like there's that many variations, which I mean, which makes it, you know, even harder that you really got to, you know, you really have to go through every card. Well, you got to go through every card anyway, simply because of the uh, high number variations. You know what I mean? Because you, I mean, anything that's uh, four hundred one through five hundred is technically a short print. Yeah, I'll be happy for this year's Genter. I'm a Genter fan. Halfway there, it's mo it's moving uh, relatively fast. Yeah, no, I mean, I, listen, I, I would never buy into a Ginter break, personally, unless unless I had the, uh, you know, random, you know, weird stuff spot, but I just, I just like it. Fun to, it's fun to open. And you never know, like, what cards out of that are going to be, like, you know, like some crazy massive card. I mean, like, the the uh, cryptocurrency ones last year, for, like, for no particular reason, were selling for, for like, like some pretty, like, some pretty insane dollars for a little bit. And plus, I feel like if I stay positive on Genter for a while. Well, yeah, I. What's up, Raj? Yeah, I got uh, my wife one of the uh, uh, James uh, Holzhauer cards out of Genter because she because she was a, a huge uh, Jeopardy fan. Like you know, I mean, it's just it's it's it's, it's always weird stuff. Raj, how's your uh, week been since I've seen you? Kids doing all right? How's your wife doing? Uh, pregnancy treating her all right? She's not uh, not too sick and stuff. I hope.
Well, I mean, I technically am the white Jason. He's not wrong, Greg. Well, I mean, don't you remember that uh, we had we had that black guy Jason, but it was like J A Y S O N who uh, who broke here for like two weeks before he just get, couldn't take the pressure and quit. Ooh, I saw a uh, French French back. It was, good, it was good times, Greg. It was good times. I'm lying. That never that never happened. City will never be any more or any less than uh, Jesse and I. I spent like a like a like a solid like eight months in therapy getting used to uh, Jesse even being here. So I definitely am not uh, ever taking on uh, somebody else. That's fair, Greg. That's fair. Steven Chin. All right, almost there. Almost there.
I'm expecting a uh, Yordan Alvarez out of this. I think a Alvarez and a Trout are going to are, are going to be two the two main auto pulls along with uh, an unknown number of uh... I mean what is it I mean it was like 12 12 50 1250 cards or something it's a lot It is, it is, in fact, one metric F ton. So we're almost ready to see what we got. all of them all out an entire case uh, just sitting there in his joyous form let's go through these right quick got a uh, Vlad Jumbo, Vlad Jr. Funness. Super Baseball. Two Super Baseballs. This one, a uh, Eloy. A uh, Lou Kraus for the uh, Brewers. This nut corner is terrible. It is not going to grade well. Centering is off. I mean, if it gets if it gets a two, I would be shocked. Yankees uh, team uh, photo. Centering's a little bit better. Corners are still terrible, but it's, uh, you know, you might get a three out of that. Maybe a four. A Rio Montaguto? Don't know him. But he plays for the Royale, so that's who it's going to. A uh, 1970s uh, playoff game uh, number three. That is uh, Reds. And an Expos via Nationals. Dan McGinn. All right, baseball's greatest moments. Willie McCovey's uh, grand comeback uh, for the Giants.
fastest to 100 hits, Fernando uh, Tatis Jr. Tony Oliva securing a uh, batting crown for the Twins. A spectacular pitching debut for uh, Brendan McKay of the uh, Rays. And a record-setting 2019 for uh, Verlander of the uh, Astros. Was he being tipped off to uh, what hitters were looking for? Or was the pitching staff uh, not involved in, uh, in, in that bit of uh, Astro tomfoolery? Any, any, anybody know? comfortable and let's see what we got yeah scumbag Ryan Braun okay All right, Purple Andrus. Ail in a Ricky Stars, Alvarez, and Aquino. And Chrome Doll in Purple. Muncie in Purple. Cubs and Nationals are not to do those. A uh, Jimenez rookie cup. It's a hot box. All right, first hit out a Max Kepler for the Twins. The uh, Cabrera. Deal there. I'm trying to think how I'm going to go about those. Those randoms. Torres in uh, purple. Pujols in purple. Trey Turner in purple. Stauskas in purple. Rizzo in purple. Yeah, to 571. Jordan, 
to uh, 571. <clears throat> What's up, Smokey Jenkins? And Austin Meadows in purple. I mean, they're all getting sleeved, anywho. Rangers rookie stars, more rookie stars, and Otani in purple. Jays rookie stars. Hudson in purple. I know, right? 571. Snap a doodle do. Congratulations on your uh, Astros, Jose Altuve, your Don Alvarez. I guess since no one bothered to uh, say anything about it, I guess you guys don't particularly care. But Boomski, either way, dual autograph to twenty-five. I called the Alvarez, so now I have only got the uh, Trout to uh, yank out. That's a nice card. Nice card. Pilar Giants in purple. in purple the uh, well I mean I mean all of these are stamps Raj I mean this one not as not a stamp those uh, those are on card and hand numbered Uh, Herner rookie for the Cubs. Ryan Anderson all star rookie. <laughs> you're what you're welcome Raj Yeah, Smokey Jenkins, I'm not, uh, yeah, I am not sorting the base. That's the problem. 
I don't mind sending it to you if you can find somebody down here in Miami to come and sort it. move some stuff off this i mean listen high numbered short prints the 401s through the uh 500s all ship any variations which we will go through and locate all of will ship but yeah and i'm not shipping the base if you didn't mean listen, if you just don't like it then i'm sorry but Santana to nine ninety nine for the Indians. I mean, Smokey Jenkins, they are they are technically twenty percent off right now. If you if you uh, go and buy them in the store, twenty percent off. Unpublicized, uh, huge deal. Oh, Smokey Jenkins, you love your emojis, don't you? You love your emojis. Emo high hoo ho hoes. Yeah, I see. I knew you did. I knew you did. And I and I love you for loving them. Watchery for Day Cubs. Yeah, I I I agree with you, Smokey Jenkins. You know, it's uh. I consider myself a man of a few words, so...
Yeah, uh, Brian Anderson, Marlins to uh, 71. That's actually uh... no, dude. I have I have the hardest time falling asleep, so it will it will never happen during a break. But if it's gonna keep you here and keep you chit chatting and stuff, then uh, then may then I might. You'll just have to uh, watch and see. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know how any human being on this earth could fall asleep during something as exciting as Heritage Baseball, though, really. I mean, it just doesn't seem possible. Like, I mean, I, I am uh, beyond awake, beyond staggeringly uh, excited that I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks to go through. To see what uh, gloriousness awaits us. Yeah, but I mean, he's never fallen asleep in the middle of a break, has he? Not like in the middle of one. I'm trying to fill one, sure, but in the middle of one? But in the middle, <clears throat> I mean, how, how do you even do that? Why they're splitting up like two of these and flipping them around? I do not exactly understand. Unless it is just to make me uh, like belligerent. A Bellinger uh, swatch. Well, I, he's been to the doctor a couple of times. Like I, I mean, I know he's I know he's been like you know lo looking looking into potential uh, issues. So. Where I think they, I think they're flipping them just to, just to keep me like mildly agitated. So I well I apparently do not have a thyroid issue then. As I I can barely go to sleep.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, they go, they're gone, Smokey Jenkins. They, they set an alarm for an hour and 45 minutes, and we'll uh, be back then to uh, <clears throat> jump into the next uh, $19 filler that I do. Well, I mean, it, the only thing I would ha I would have to like see like what cleaning crew is still in the office or still in the building, and get them to uh, come and come and help me open. I, I, you know, e either they help me open or I get them to go through the cards while I, while I open. One of the, one of the two. Right to this is a lot of cards. These two flipped are what's driving me like mildly insane right now. Otherwise, we go through like relatively quickly, but these two flipped cards. driving me insane. Oh, another another hot box. Astros Correa in purple. Fernando Tatis Junger in purple. Soraka in a propel. Zell in purple. Vlad Jr. in purple. Let's 
Soto in purple. Bellinger in purple. Uh, May and Lux in purple. Dodgers rookies. Serious, man. Eloy Jimenez, 571. Well, dude, I mean, the, S the SPs are pretty SPs, so... Who knows? Really? But one of us will go through all of the cards to uh, sort that out. Hey, we got a uh, Eloy Jimenez autograph for the White Sox. Nice card. Yes, Jamie. I mean, listen, they, they have done the uh, very nice bit of stuff this year of putting, like, right here, whether it's action, error, throwback, whatever, so... But that is a nice card for the White Sox. Two very nice autographs so far. Two very nice ones. Jamie, how are you doing today? Dude, how was all of, like, early 2019 Vikings so good? So good. And then all of a sudden, like, late 2019 Vikings is terrible. What's the deal with that?
Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Jamie. J.D. Martinez, Red Sox, Swatchery. Uh, I hope, I mean, Case is all, has, has always been pretty nice. A Verlander to uh, nine ninety to say this is uh ooh, that card is torn up we'll get to that one in a minute but this is uh slowly but surely sucking the life out of me Absolutely mangled. Guy Orko. I mean, it's not like any variation or anything. But it is absolutely torn to pieces. Sorry, Dave, if you were uh, hoping for a clean Gaiorco, this is not going to be the one that. Uh... That you're going to that you're going to get. I mean, odds are there's others. At least it's not uh, not like autographed or something. Stephen Matt's uh, white. The whites are the uh, are the are the uh, case hits. Chuck, is that is that what you're uh, telling me?
throw that in a uh, <clears throat> in a top loader as soon as I finish this stack. Come on, man. A uh, Aaron Nola to uh, nine Nick. Oh, Nick. Are you Nick Anderson or Nick Anderson? Just so you know, I only let that fly once. I only let it fly once. And he did not do well with uh, Panini One. He doesn't want to say, but I, I will uh, I will say for him, no. He did not do well. Hey, Strasburg, Swatchery for the Nationals. Hey, another whitey for uh, Brian Reynolds of the Pirates.
nice, Nick. We got here a uh, 1971 postage stamp for Roberto Clemente. It's a wildlife conversation. It's an eight cent, cent, eight cent stamp. It is an alligator. And it is number to 50 for the Pirates. It feels 75 ish. Nice fun, a fun card for the Pirates. Yeah, I would, I would take this in a heartbeat. Like if, if, uh, if I didn't like, if I didn't like Steve so much, I would, uh, you know, just snatch it and say that it never happened. But nice fun card. Well, Dirk, I, I still have uh, 800 cards to uh, go through, so you, you know, so it, it, it will come. And plus, I, I've, ar I've already pulled like three Rays SSPs out of this. You know, either way. I don't know. One supposedly did very well here, Nick. Of course, Jesse, uh, you know, wouldn't save me any of that to open. Would, on would only leave me... Uh, Heritage, but I but I heard I heard it was fire here, Ex except for Jamie. Who we just did hyper dirty with. Yeah, what was it? Brady Bra to five or something? When I when I came in and asked him, like I mean, I think he was like three cases deep. And had just just done like had just crushed. Except for Jamie. Crushed Jamie, but in a bad way, crushed everything else in a good way. Yeah, we well we've been a, I think we've been a while without a uh, without a Brady so always nice to hit a card that you charge like more than you really should for a team but you charge for them because of the chance to hit something like that and then it actually hits is always uh, always fulfilling to me at least.
There's a raised rookie stars. And looks like we got an autograph. Who's going to be for? It's going to be the Cubs. Nico Herner. Cubs rookie star. So autographs so far have been very good out of this. I mean, granted, it's you know we've we've hit three and we'll maybe get one more out of this, but uh, have been is has been very good. And for some reason, the uh, flipped cards have stopped all of a sudden, which is just, I think now what they've done, they, they've stopped it just to, just to keep me confused. You know, at the very least, it's going to keep me from uh, going to sleep. It'll keep me... Uh, on top of stuff. Well, Jamie, you will have a little bit of lube in your next uh, in your next uh, package that comes to you. Not gonna say what it is, but uh, you got you got a little a little a little something extra coming to you in your in your next. Uh, your next 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 shipment. Yeah, I mean, again, it's not it's not a whole lot, but it is. I mean, you know, it's it's a, it's a little reach round rub and tug kind of a deal. Listen, man, you are very good to me. If I if I can do any, if I if I have the ability to help you out with a team that I know you like, uh, then then I then I will do that for you. I do. That, I mean, yeah.
A Giolito White Sox swatch ray. Well, I don't. I mean, I don't know if you remember, but Kirk Cousins decided that he did not want any of any of his cards. So he 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 asked me to send them to you. Kirk's a good dude. I mean, you know, he get he gets crapped on, but he he is a good dude. Hey, a mini for Kevin Pillar of the Giants, number two, uh, one hundred. Since it is a miniature, well, listen, I mean, listen, that that's the other thing. I mean, I don't I don't think there was anything like staggering in it. Yeah, yeah, Victor Reyes for the Tigers, our third, uh, third white card. Select, I think it was select. Whatever you I mean, you should have you should have it in a day or, in a day or two either way. Ocuna Junior Swatch tree for the Bravos. Yeah, man. I do. Oh. Quick story. I took this stuff. I took this stuff to the post office myself, right? And I, I always, I print. We have like the way our system works. Like I do all the labels, and there's like a thing like, do you want to close the day? And I was like, yes, I want to close the day. And it prints out a sheet that says like you shipped, you know, 115 priority, you know, or 115 first class. You shipped 30 you know, priorities, you ship 15 internationals, whatever, and it just gives like one barcode. Normally, like I take the box in, I, you know, give the guy the sheet, he scans it, he's like, all right, just put the box, you know, over there on the side, I'll take care of it. That's how it normally goes down. This time, like there's a guy that I like who would have taken care of it for me immediately. And there's a lady that I don't like who just doesn't care. I got suck. I got stuck going to the lady that doesn't care. So I, I handed the sheet. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Your day going all right? You know I mean? Kissing butt hardcore style. And she's like, this ain't going to work. And I'm like, uh, and I say, I say well, I've never had a problem before. She scans like, beep, 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 beep. Nah, it ain't, it ain't work. And I'm like, ugh. She's like, how many you got? And I'm like, I don't know, like a hundred, maybe. Something like that. Well, Mike Trout action variation. So she gives, she's like, hang on. And gives me a scanner. 
and says like just get, you know just go over and, and scan all these yourself quote yosef she's like go go do it yourself i'm like man so i scanned them all myself Let's hope I let's hope I did it right because she did not exactly give me uh, instructions. She just said push scan. No, yeah, that was uh, not worth the uh, trouble, Jamie. But it, it it was. I mean, it just I was just I don't know. I mean, I wasn't in a terrible mood at that point, so I'm just like ah. It's only like a hundred packages. How long could it possibly take me? Mm, shocking. The Rosario is not a action. So I, I scanned them all. Got a Matt Carpenter uh, white style. Then, like, the, like as I was getting done, like, she was, like, yelling at people to tell them, like, listen, if anybody's picking up, you come, you know, you go, like, wait over here. And then, like, somebody else comes out. She's like, you, you going you gonna to help those people pick up. And she's like, okay. Like, the new lady was like, all right. And the lady, the lady's like, well, where's the scanner? And she's, like, looking around for a second. He's like, oh, he got it. It was the exact second that I was done with, and I brought it back to her. But she she was she was getting ready to chew out some other like some other lady. It is it was not good all the way around. It make it makes me want to work at the post office, really, so that I can just generally decide people's fates. Hey, uh, Patrick Corbin uh, to 999. Yeah, but I've never I've never been given the scanner before. So there's a, like there's a late there's two post offices that I go to. One that's right by the work, one is by my house. There's one by work. There's like this this uh, Asian lady who who ain't had none of that paper. She will she will sit there and she will scan and weigh every single thing you take into her for her to decide if it's if it's uh, if it's good enough or not. And there's a, there's another like very nice Spanish lady that's like will like bring a cart around like outside to like help you bring like your packages like back into the back so you don't it's, like so nobody has to carry them around. I don't know. You know, you just, I mean, there are good ones and there are bad ones at the post office. The post office here, at least. And I, and I know who they are. And I almost, like, I mean, next time, it might be a situation where, like, if if that, if that lady says, like, next in line, I'll just look to the, to the person behind me and I'll say, go ahead. Because I know she's going to do me dirty. I don't want to see her. I'll, I'll wait for, for, my, for my guy to free up or my, or my other lady to free up. Oh, they're gonna end me end me off with spinnies. All right. That's how you want to do it. And that's how we'll do it. That's fine. And now two base watch.
Yeah, the, yeah, Greg. I mean, I, the, I mean, I, I will, I will probably watch more baseball this year than I will any other year, just to see like how much people throw at the uh, at the Astros because they are such terrible, terrible cheating people. And I mean, frankly, got it, got away with. You know, nothing. Why even offer them immunity? Why even offer them immunity? Like, I mean, just, I don't know. The whole thing makes me think that uh, Rob Manfred has no business being the... Uh, Being the commissioner of baseball. Bud Selig wouldn't have put up with that. I can tell you that for a fact. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even like some kind of Bud Selig super fan. Well, I mean they've already like warned you know, teams like not to throw at them, but I'm like well, well I mean you didn't warn them not to cheat. Or do anything about them cheating, so, uh, you know, what's the difference? It's a hundred, I mean, it's 162 games. I, I think I'd, I'd, I think I'd plunk some people and take my suspension. Just to prove a point, I mean, I mean, make it, make it a league wide effort. You know, have all 29 teams agree that, like, listen, we're just going to plunk these people. And that's all there is to it. Exactly, Greg. Exactly. I mean that I mean that's why I mean he has no business being the commissioner of baseball. No business at all. And again, I mean I don't even really like baseball. But at the same time, like I, I mean, I know, I know what cheating is. I know what a championship is. I know for you to say that, like you, like you offered all, you offered up, uh, you know, immunity to uh, get get to the bottom of it, it is in itself, you know, ridiculous. When you could, when you could have done the same amount of internet work. That some dude on Reddit did to even figure out that they were that they were doing it, and look at you know do the math. I mean, if you look at, I mean, that's the one thing. I mean, when I looked at like the splits for like home and away for like for the for the playoff chunk of the season, not even not even the entire season, but just a playoff chunk of the season, it was absurd. And a uh, George Springer there to uh, five seventy one. They should only put. They should only. They should number all Astros cars to six six six. For the rest for the rest of the year. And may, and maybe slightly beyond. I have I haven't decided yet. Yeah, no, I mean, they need, they need like, an Adam Silver. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, that's the other thing. Like, I mean, Adam Silver, uh, the NFL guy, why can't, think, why can't I think of his name right now? Like, you know, I, you know, I didn't think they were, like, good. Roger Goodell. Good, uh... You're not not even good, but like great 
managers now, now more so uh, basketball. But let I me mean, bottom line is, I mean, once I heard Manfred compared to these other two guys, I'm like, my God, this guy has no business being in, being in any part of. Uh, of, 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 of leading baseball into like another era of goodness. All right. Full case. We had three autographs. One was Nico Herner for the Chicago Cubs. It was an unnumbered autograph. We had an Eloy Jimenez. For the White Sox, a uh, rookie cup or all star rookie cup autograph, unnumbered. And then we had for the Cheat Strohs, a uh, Altuve Alvarez dual autograph, uh, hand numbered to uh, 25. Thank you, everybody. I'll get this right out too. 